Welcome to Electron Online and now we have an interesting example, our third example, where we're trying to find the phase difference. Now, the conditions are that we want to find the phase difference such that with a six slit system, the intensity will be half the maximum intensity. So what phase difference is required to accomplish that? So the, diff the information we have is we have six slits, the wavelength is 500 nanometers, the distance between the slits is 0.5 millimeters, the length of the screen or the distance of the screen is 2.5 meters, and we're trying to find the phase difference when I is half the maximum I, the maximum intensity. Of course, for a six slit system, I max is going to be N squared times I of a single slit, and so in this case, that would be equal to 6 squared times I initial, which is equal to 36 I initial. That means half of I max is equal to the square root, oh, not the square root, let me take that back, it's going to equal 1 half 36 I sub naught, which is equal to 18 I sub naught. But how do we find the phase difference? Hmm. That's interesting, because notice the equation we normally use to find the phase difference or to find the intensity, we can say that intensity is equal to I sub naught times the ratio of the sine of, and that would be the number of slits times the phase difference divided by 2 divided by the sine of the phase difference divided by 2, the whole quantity squared. Which means that what we're looking for is we're looking for half of that, so I would be 18 times that, so 18 times I sub naught equals I sub naught times the sine of N times the phase divided by 2 divided by the sine of the phase difference divided by 2 quantity squared. Which means that this quantity is equal to this, or the square root of that is equal to the square root of 18. So the square root of 18 is equal to the sine of n times the phase difference divided by 2 squared divided by the sine of the phase difference divided by 2 squared. So now we have a situation where we have a ratio, oh, no, no, not squared. The squared, I got rid of the square by taking the square root of both sides. But now we have a situation where we're trying to find phi in this case. And that is much more difficult to do because we have Basically what it comes down to, if we want to simplify that, and what is the square root of 18? Let's take the square root of 18, we get, oop, let me try it again, 18, take the square root, 4.2426. So 4.2426 is equal to the sine, so in this case n is equal to 6, so that would be the sine of 3 times the phase difference divided by the sine of 1 half, or phase difference divided by 2. So how do you find phi in this case? Well, there's no direct method to do that, but we can do an iterative method. We can kind of zoom down to it since we have calculators, and so we can say, well, let's try something. Let's try theta or phi. Let's try phi is equal to 10 degrees, and what do we get? Well, if phi is equal to 10 degrees, we take the sine of 30 divided by the sine of 5, and we get 5.7368, so that gives us uh, 5.7368 for that ratio, which isn't quite enough. All right, so let's try 15 degrees. So when phi is equal to 15 degrees, what would this ratio equal? Well, we get uh, 45, take the sine of that, divided by 7.5, take the sine of that, equals, and I get 5.417, 5.417, which is still not what I'm looking for, so let's try 20 degrees. So phi is equal to 20 degrees. Okay, so I'll take uh, 60, so 20 times 3 is 60, so I take the sine of 60 divided by the sine of half of that, which is 10, and I get 4.987, 4.987, which is getting closer, but not quite where we want to get to, so let's try 25 degrees. So I try 3 times 25 is 75, so let's take the sine of 75 divided by the sine of 12.5, and I get 4.462, 4.462. All right, not quite there yet, so let's try 26 degrees. Phi is equal to 26 degrees, and so that's uh, 26 times 3, that's 78, so the sine of 78 divided by the sine of 13, 
and I get 4.348, 4.348, almost there. So let's try 27 degrees. So 27 times 3 is 81. So the sine of 81 divided by 27 divided by 13 and a half, 13.5, take the sine of that, equals, and I get 4.231, 4.231. Notice 4.2426 is somewhere in between those two which means I get a number somewhere between 25 and 26 degrees. It looks like it would be much closer to 26. The difference here looks like 0.11, and the difference between that and that is by 0.424. So my answer is that phi is very close to 20, uh, 25.9 degrees, plus or minus a small amount. So that's how we do that. The reason why it's so difficult to do, think about it. We have six phasors that we're adding together, and we know that the vector sum of those six phasors adds up to 4.24, when the vector sum of the six phasors, when they're lined up, adds up to six. So imagine six phasors lined up like that. Three, four, five, six. Each one has a value E sub naught, and so we know that E total is equal to six times E sub naught. So what we now want to do is we want to go ahead and add those six phases together with a phase difference. So let's say we have some sort of phase difference. So there's my first phaser, there's my second phaser, my third phaser. So we're looking for a phase difference phi. So that when I add all those phasers together, five and six, then my sum, let me show you what we're trying to do here. My E total right here, this is my E total, and my E total would have to be 4.2426 e sub naught. So the question is, what is that phase angle going to be equal to in such way that when I add those six phasers together, I get a total of 4.2426, which again, very difficult to do without calculators or computers, but if we're smart about it, and we just kind of plug in test values, eventually we'll zoom in to the value where the left side equals the right side, and that happened to be pretty well where the phase angle is 25.9 degrees, which is therefore the answer to our question, at what phase angle, phase difference, do we have an intensity that's half the maximum intensity when the phase angle is 25.9 degrees in the case we have six slits in this geometric situation. And that's how we do that. Oh, did I forget to write 27? Ooh. Ooh, oh, nope, nope, I can just go ahead. And realizing that I forgot to write 27 degrees, which gives us this number, so yes, the actual answer is not 25.9, but 26.9 degrees. That's what I get for being lazy and writing down that I, my last attempt was for the phase angle of 27 degrees.